Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. This is my first tutorial of 2020, so happy new decade to all of you. All right, so we're gonna be doing a Redshift tutorial today, and I'm gonna show you how to make a film projector so that we can see the light and we're gonna have it flicker. All right, we're gonna start with a new Redshift light, and we're going to do this using a spotlight. So we'll place our light so that it's coming out of the projector right here, and let's hit render on Redshift. So we're not gonna be able to see this light because we have to add another thing into our scene. We're gonna to go to Redshift Objects, and we're going to add a Redshift environment. There's one final step so that we can see this light. If we go to the RS Spotlight, we can go to the Volume tab, and under Contribution Scale, let's kick this all the way up to one. All right, so now we're able to see our spotlight, and it looks like it's coming out of the projector. We can play the Contribution Scale if we wanna lower the opacity of that effect. All right, we're actually going to project an image out of this spotlight. So if we go back to our General tab, let's scroll down to the Texture, and we can load an image or an animation into here. So under Path, let's load up an image here, and let's load up this Pokemon Ball, which I'm going to put on our website as a freebie as well at some point. Now the really cool thing is that the light is going to take on all the colors of this image, and it looks really cool. And this is a great way to make some volumetric looks like this. So this is one way that you could do this effect, but we actually want to project this onto a surface. It could be a model, could be anything, but we're gonna just put a plane in front. So I'll turn this plane on. If we do that, we can see that we're projecting this image onto this plane. But now we wanna have this flicker a little bit. And by the way, if you want to increase uh, the width of this so it's not so narrow. You can go down to the spotlight um, options here and just adjust your cone angle and make that a little bit wider. All right, so we're gonna make this flicker using noise. Now, if you've ever used a shader with noise, let's make a new shader so I can show you really quick. If we add noise to this and go into our noise and increase our animation speed, and we'll just make that two, and if we right click on this uh, little preview, we can click animate and now we can see the animation. So it's a randomly generated black and white image that's kind of pulsing and moving around. And we're gonna use that to make this flicker, but we're not gonna use a shader, we're actually gonna use Expresso. So let's right click on our spotlight and let's go to programming tags and Expresso. Now, if you're using something before R21, this tag will be in a different spot. They kind of shuffled these tags around, but you're looking for the Expresso tag. And once we do that, we'll have an Expresso window pop up and we need to drag our spotlight into here and then we need to find that noise to, uh, to affect it. So we'll go to our little search magnifying glass here and we'll type in noise and we'll drag out our noise node. Now, where do we want to affect on the spotlight, what parameter? Well, you could go into your general and affect something like the exposure. Um, you could also go into the volume tab and play with the contribution scale because if we kick this up, it's gonna make the effect more strong, sort of like exposure. And if we drop it down, it'll make it less strong. So if we flicker this, it'll be a really nice projector look. So we'll do volume contribution scale. So let's drag our noise, drag it into the blue pad and let go. Go to volume and contribution scale. And let's turn off our Redshift render really quick. And let's uh, go ahead and hit play. Let's add some frames to this. All right, so if we go to our spotlight and look at it, you can see that every once in a while, we're sort of pulsing up and down. But we actually have it going in the negative direction as well, which we don't want. So if we go to noise, we can uh, check on positive only, so it's only pulsing in the positive direction. And if we go back to our spotlight, now you can see that there's a little bit more action in the positive section. All right, so from here, it's pretty simple. If we wanna play with the frequency, we can make these uh, pulses go a little bit faster. If we go back to our spotlight, you see that we're pulsing really fast. Now, if you want to have it pulse on the top end of the spectrum, you can go to your noise and that would be under the amplitude. So if we kick this up to 10 and go back, you can see that it's pulsing way up high. But if we wanna pulse it down on the lower end, then we could do something like maybe 0.1 or 0.2 and now it's pulsing way down here. So you just have to figure out what range looks good and probably somewhere in between was what looked good. So if we just leave it at one, that'll probably be okay. All right, so I went ahead and rendered this out and you can see that we have a little preview animation here. And uh, you can see that it might be pulsing a little bit too strong, but you get the idea that this is a nice way to add a little bit of life to your lights. So that's how you do a projector in Redshift. Hope you guys found that useful. Happy 2020, everybody. And we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.